Hameda, the senior who's 8 and 2, coming in as number 8 ranked in our Flow Wrestling rankings. And these two are uh, no new foe. They've seen each other quite a number of times. That's now four times that these two have uh, seen each other, and they've been good matches. Last time it was Hamida who was able to get the win in a decision. Yeah, Hamida got that decision in the second round at the NCAA tournament. 7-2 that match. Both these guys returning All-Americans from last year. Stoll with a good start, grabbing that two-on-one, moving Hamida around. Hamida, Hamida the lone returning All-American from a season ago for Maryland. Hamida is 8-2 and two with his losses coming to 11th ranked Treff Hilginger of Wisconsin. That was the only dual loss that he suffered throughout this season. He's coming off... Uh, a win against Nebraska's David Jensen. The same for Sam Stoll, who won a 3-0 last week against 14th ranked David Jensen. Stoll actually lost last week. You're right. To yep. Jensen. 3-0, you're right, was that one. That was Stoll's first loss of the season to keep that undefeated, uh, to give him that first loss. He's now 6-1 and one of the year. That was a tough match, 3-0. It went down. Stoll couldn't find the offense. We're still in the first period here with a minute 50 to go in it. Stole back on that two on one. Some action at the beginning. Hamida with a single leg driving out. Stole tried to throw. There's no points on the edge of the mat. Both guys really hand fighting. Halfway through this first period. Both guys in under over position right here. Stoll pressuring forward. Mita's going to have to circle. We'll get stall call. And there we see the stall call against Mita. Sam Stoll, very good upper body wrestler. Great Greco wrestler. Won a bronze junior world medal in Greco Roman. Mita now looking for. His upper body. Stole the captain of this team in his senior year from Castle, Minnesota. Been plagued with injury throughout his last couple of seasons here at Iowa. Really trying to make a run here in his senior campaign. Mentioned so out of the state of Minnesota holds the national record for most consecutive pins with 63 in a row in <laughs> high school. I don't think that's going to be broke anytime soon. I don't think so either. Not a ton of points scored here, here yet, but both guys with a lot of good action, of good hand fighting, good pressure. Both guys really looking for their offense. So far, only thing is a stall call against Tamita. Sam Stoll's decision here in the second period, and he'll defer it over. Tamita wants to stay on the feet. Tamita stays on the feet, as we mentioned. Stoll has a national record for pins. Tamita doesn't want any part of that. Here the Iowa coaching staff saying stay heavy on the hands to Sam Stoll. Stoll really doing a good job of working his two on ones and underhooks. Not a ton of shot attempts by either guy. Both guys have done some half single leg shots, but mostly just hard hand fighting. Shot off there by Hamida. Circles back to his feet. Stoll doing a really good job of heavy hand fight. As I mentioned, two on ones and underhooks. Of good pressure. 
A minute left here on the second period. Still no score between these two. Top 10 matchup. 10th ranked Sam Stoll, 8th ranked Yusuf Hamida. Two seniors trying to make one good push here at the NCAA tournament. Trying to do so right here at the end of the Big Ten regular season. Iowa leading the team score category 29 to 0. Their first six matches, bonus points in five of those. A couple of tech falls, a pin as well for Alex Marinelli. Terry McCoy, head coach of Maryland, was a two time Olympian heavyweight for the U.S. So I'm sure that has helped Hamida a lot there at Maryland, having him in his corner. Just three seconds left of the second. Third period, 0-0. Sam Stoll is going to choose down. No riding time, no points. One stall call against Amita. The crowd's getting excited. Very quickly up to his feet here. Stoll breaks the hands, gets out. Mind you, Hamida still does have a stall warning coming against him. He tries to finish this takedown, but he can't. Mita trying to drive in there. Stoll doing a good job with heavy hips in a front headlock position. Really wearing on Hamida's neck and low back there. Another shot attempt off by Hamida. Stoll looking to dig that underhook. Stoll with a minute 09, leads it 1-0, does still have a stall warning to give. He not been tagged with one yet. Another shot attempt by Hamida, driving that single leg up to their feet. And they are pushed all the way off the mat, almost into the crowd. Iowa Hawkeye fans are not happy about that one. Nice, a little bit of extracurricular, a bit of a push. Fifty seconds left. Another shot, single leg attempt by Hamid. Another drive to the edge. Stole heavy hips. And Stole, who threw him to the side, is going to try to turn this. Both wrestlers are spread out. There's 35 seconds remaining. Great match here at 285. Stoll in really good position here. Hamida on his belly. Stoll trying to break that lock. Lock is broken. Stalemate back to the center. Hamida down 1-0. 27, 26 seconds left. Hamida has had a couple of real good shots in there. Just hasn't quite been able to finish. He's got 25 seconds to do so. He trails 1-0. Sam Stoll with the lead. No stall call against Stoll. Riding time not a factor. Crowd getting excited here. Sam Stoll in the front headlock position. Hamida's going to have to try something here to score. Just five seconds left. There's going to be the stall warning coming now against Sam Stoll. Just a warning. And that will end this. 1-0, Sam Stoll will win it. Coming out of the escape, it's all it took. Good win there by Sam Stoll. Really good job, good hand fighting. Good, uh, good comeback from last weekend for Sam Stoll.